Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alana with The Confident Peach. And um, I'm here to show you guys my fall wardrobe. Um, not all of it, just the essentials that will most likely be in rotation this fall. So um, I guess without further, further ado, let's get started. So first off, um, I guess we can just talk about my uh, faux leather blazers that I'll be wearing. So I have three faux, le faux leather blazers that will be in rotation. This is my favorite because this one looks really nice. So if you guys can see, I'm thinking about replacing the buttons. That I think I can find some on eBay. But I also have this shirt. Um, this is from H&M actually. And I think it was like maybe 25 to $30. And it's like my favorite shirt. I wore it to my nephew's birthday dinner with a pair of jeans and some red heels and it looked amazing on me. If you go to my Instagram, follow me. If you follow me on my Instagram, then you'll see it on one of, uh, one of my Instagram photos. I'm stumbling all over my words. So anyway, this is part of my fall essentials, my blazers, my faux leather blazers that I've been wearing. Next up, we have another one of my blazers, I think. I already did an outfit inspired video with this. It's um, another H&M blazer. If you guys look at the material, you'll see the pattern. It is actually really cute. Um, I can't remember how much it costs, but everything will be linked below. Everything's on my website. So if you go to theconfidentpeach.com, you'll see that everything I show you right here, I put a link to the actual item or the um or a similar similar item that i picked to what i have so this is another one um i'm looking for a pair of brown or like tannish loafers to go with this i haven't found a pair quite yet so far i have two pairs of loafers one i got from steve madden and then the other one i got from uh zara Zara was actually cheaper. I think Zara's um, loafers were like 40 something dollars. And then Steve Madden was, I think 60 something, which is out of control. But anyway, if you want to know the links to those, they're at my website also. Everything's, everything's on my website. Everything I show you is on my website. So this is this. All right. Next up, we have I think these are like called textured um, jackets or something. So I guess we'll start off with the Zara one. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. And I don't even know what the material is in this. Anyway, it's a navy blue. Um, there's gold buttons, and then they have these little clips where you can clip it up right here if you want to close the blazers. But I have a pair of um, sambas, white sambas, Adidas sambas, and they will look amazing with these. They're just like a pair of light colored jeans. Yeah, so I'm excited to wear this with my sambas. So anyway, this is Zara. That's one. And here's another. This is H&M. If you guys, let's get a close-up of the material. Yeah, the tag is still on it. So I haven't worn these yet. Um, because the weather just started getting like super cold. But here's another. This is like a baby blue. And if you guys want to look at the texture of it, if you guys can see it really well. I hope I'm showing it. But yeah, they're not in the same category, but a plain black blazer is great to have for your everyday wear. You can dress this up and dress this down. If you don't have a black blazer in your closet, you need to get you one because that is most definitely on the essential list. Whether it's summer, spring, or fall, black blazers are on the essential list. This isn't too heavy. It's not like super duper light. It's just a plain black long blazer. I have three black blazers. Uh, one I got from 
I think I got one from H&M. Uh, the other one, this one I got from H&M, and then the other one I believe I got from Zara. And I wear them all year around. So get yourself a black blazer so you can wear it with anything. You can wear it with dresses, you can wear it with jeans, skirts. You can wear them <laughs> with anything. And if the blazer is long enough, you can wear it as a whole dress, okay? And wear a belt around the waist. So anyway, it's a long trench coat from, well, medium length, it's mid length from Zara. And it's not heavy. I hate super heavy coats. And I thought it was great that it wasn't a heavy coat. Um, I wore this out to run errands. I wore a white sweatshirt hoodie, like a white hoodie up under it. Wore this over top, wore my white sambas and some jeans, and I looked super cute, okay? Oh, and I wore a baseball cap, all black baseball cap. So if you guys don't have a black, like, trench coat, well, I don't even really know, is this called a trench coat? It's called, um, I'll list it right here because I'm having a serious brain fog right now. Anyway, so the blazers, the trench coats, um, the texture jackets are really good. Um, what else do I have? Let's see. So I have these little puppy vests, I think would be super cute. I've worn this, which was cute on me. And I've worn this. So both of these I did thrift. I got them from the thrift shop. Um, are they name brand? I mean, one is Kenneth Poe Reaction and the other one is Talbots. I do not have links for these. I didn't look for links for these, so I'll be sure to add this to my website, some similar items to my website. But I think like Pretty Little Things, Fashion Nova, and I think Zara has some puffer vests. But these will be a rotation. This one is like gonna be every now and then, but of course, you know, black. Black goes with everything, so black will be a rota rotation, especially like if I'm running errands or whatever. So, the black puffer vests. Next up are my sweaters, my thicker tops, um, my little cozy tops. So I'll start off with this uh, Zara button-up crop top, which is my favorite. I think I've worn this in a couple of my videos. Um, it's just a button-up. It isn't super heavy, it's comfortable. I'll wear a tank top up under it and keep it moving. So a black sweater in your closet, that's good to have on your list. Um, another black sweater, uh, what is this called? Um, it's not crew neck, is it? I mean, it's not a turtleneck, but it kinda is. I forgot what it's called, but uh, long sleeve. This one isn't thick, I think I got it from H&M. It was affordable, size medium. And another sweater, this is the Thrift. Oh, it's inside out. Anyway, it's a really soft material. It's super cute and it's not heavy. So a nice oversized sweater that you can wear for like every day or going to see the family or just like running some errands. And then this is from H&M. It's actually a two piece. It's a top. Okay. so. It's a top and it's like a skirt. Let me pull it out. I still have the tags on it because I haven't worn it yet. But I'm looking for some knee-high boots that would be so cute with this, okay? So this is it, if you guys can see, with some knee-high boots. Oh, it would be to die for, so cute. Anyway, so this is what I'm gonna be wearing. Okay, with a leather jacket or something over top of it maybe. I don't know, I haven't figured it out. I'm gonna do an outfit of the day with this most definitely. So stock up on your sweaters for fall, okay? I think this is my first year wearing a sweater dress. So this one I got from H&M. I love it, <laughs> obviously. It's a sweater dress. And do you see what it does for the curves? Okay, how cute is that? And it's not the itchy material. Do you guys know the itchy material that like some sweaters have? It's like an itchy material in your skin. It's not like that. It's just really soft. Let's see what I paid for it. $44.99. So I believe this is on my website. It should be on my website. But I will double check. Long sleeve. 
Um, I have some like tannish brown suede thigh high boots and this like a block heel that will go amazing with this. So get yourself some sweater dresses. Here's another one. And this is actually a thrifted item. This is from Unique Low. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But anyway, so it's like a long little comfy dress. You can wear it with like some cute little uh, tennis shoes or you can wear it with like some boots. And this is a size medium. So I guess like maybe a belt. I haven't worn it yet, but I do plan on wearing it very soon. The sleeves aren't very long. It's like a half sleeve, half cut. If you guys want to look at the material. We have the trench. The long little trench coat. I've had this coat for years. This is from Target. Okay. It's so cute. I've done so many videos with this trench coat it is so perfect okay i can't remember how much i paid for it but i'm sure target does it every year sells trench coat but if not h&m has trench coats uh, zara has trench coats you can go to mango.com but i think i have a link to this on my website i need to check if it's still valid yeah i need to check if it's still valid but anyway get yourself a trench coat you have to have a trench coat for fall winter and then of course the striped button up, it's like in the trend. So I wore this with my Sambas, I believe, and a pair of jeans. And it was so comfortable and it was cute. I ran a couple of errands. Um, I actually have two pairs of this. Um, the first one I got from the thrift store, let me get it. Okay, so this one I got from the thrift store and it's a banana republic top and i could not believe it somebody just threw it away and i'm like this is in trim now whether it's men's or women i don't know how to tell the difference if you guys know how to tell the difference this isn't something like where the buttons are on the left of women are women and the button on the right right is like the men's or something like that it's a men's shirt i don't know maybe they have like a unisex thing now but this is from the thrift store i got it for like six bucks okay and I wore it and I rolled up the sleeves. I still have the sleeves like rolled up. And then this one is from H&M and I wore this also and I just rolled up the sleeves and I wore like my white Sambas with it. So, oh, I need to do a video on my boots and my shoes that I'll be wearing this fall. Y'all know my loafers are gonna be in there. You know my Sambas are gonna be in there and you know my army boots are gonna be in there. So anyway, I'm just gonna wrap it up. That is it for the video for my fall essentials that you guys need to get and that I'll be keeping in rotation this fall. You'll see it repeatedly in my videos. Um, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Um, I am gonna do a fall um, footwear video so, you, so I can show you guys like what I'll be wearing throughout the fall weather. Um, but I also have on my blog, my website, if you guys go to theconfidentpeach.com, you'll see that I have two posts on the footwear that are a must have in your closet. Okay, so if you guys go there, and I'll leave like the links below in the description box to my fall essentials that will be in rotation and that I'm wearing this uh, winter, this fall, and then my fall footwear. I'll also have a link to um, that in the description box below. So, um, thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you guys want to see what I'm doing, um, I am on basically every social media channel. I'm going to like stop right there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.